primary purpose of the RAF Mountain Rescue Team is to deal with crashed military aircraft in hostile environments, but fortunately those are few and far between. So we help the civil police by looking for missing people in the mountains. The civilian police have jurisdiction for all missing people in the UK, so if our services are required then the police can contact either myself or my warrant officer directly and then I can activate the team accordingly. When tasked with an operation, my initial call will come through from OCMRS, who's our task and authority. During that phone call, I'll get as much information as possible about the operation that we're going to get involved with. From that point forwards, I've got an hour to get my troops into the office, briefed, and allow them time to get their own pill bags and deployment bags ready. We'll then get on the road and get to the operation as quick as we can. During a normal working day, the team will actually be managing the equipment and training to allow us to undertake rescues at a moment's notice, because we need to maintain a readiness of 24-7, 365. Each of the Hilux is set up to rescue one person, so we do carry a variety of rescue equipment to perform that task. The Hilux is an integral part of our ability to deliver an effective service. And the vehicles need to be comfortable, reliable and robust, and we work them very, very hard as a result of it. These vehicles are over six years old now. They've got over 100,000 miles on and they're still going strong and doing the job for us. My own personal experience of being rescued is when I actually broke my back and had to be rescued by the team. I was taken off the mountain, but the stretcher had to be dangled out of the back of the vehicle, which just happened to be a Toyota Hilux. The thing I enjoy most about my job is I'm a mountaineer and I love the mountains. Being a part of the mountain rescue team allows me to give something back.